Double sequential external defibrillation is a medical technique that's pushing the boundaries of cardiac care. It's used in critical situations where a patient's heart is in ventricular fibrillation, a state of chaotic electrical activity, and standard defibrillation has failed. Double sequential external defibrillation involves using two defibrillators instead of one, offering a potential lifeline in cases of refractory ventricular fibrillation. The NEJAM study. A recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found promising results for double sequential external defibrillation. Patients who received double sequential external defibrillation had a better chance of surviving to hospital discharge. However, the study had limitations. The COVID-19 pandemic forced an early stop, resulting in a smaller sample size. Furthermore, detailed information about post-resuscitation care was missing which could have influenced outcomes. While these findings are positive, more research is needed before double sequential external defibrillation can be considered the new standard of care. Theories behind double sequential external defibrillation's effectiveness. Two main theories explain how double sequential external defibrillation works on a physiological level. First, the power theory. This suggests that the combined energy from two almost simultaneous shocks acts like a supercharged reset button for the heart. Second, the setting up theory. This proposes that the first shock changes the heart's electrical environment, making it more receptive to the second shock. Double sequential external defibrillation procedure. Technical details. Double sequential external defibrillation differs from standard defibrillation by using two sets of pads, each connected to a separate defibrillator. There are two main placement methods. Method 1. Placing the second set of pads next to the first set without touching. Method 2. Anterior-posterior placement with one set on the chest and the other on the back. The second option is often preferred when moving patients. Proper pad placement is crucial requiring specialized training for medical professionals. Potential risks and ongoing research. While studies haven't shown a significant increase in complications with double sequential external defibrillation compared to standard defibrillation, researchers are actively studying potential risks, including electrical burns due to the higher energy delivered, potential damage to heart muscle, possible different responses in patients with underlying heart conditions or implanted devices. More research is needed to fully understand these risks and identify any patient populations for whom double sequential external defibrillation might be riskier or less effective. Implementation Challenges and Future Directions Implementing double sequential external defibrillation on a wider scale presents several challenges. Equipment costs. Hospitals would need to invest in additional defibrillators. Training requirements. Medical professionals would need specialized training. Integration into existing healthcare systems. This requires careful planning and resource allocation. Future research will focus on gathering more data from larger, more diverse patient groups. Optimizing the technique, such as pad placement, timing between shocks, electrical waveforms. Studying long-term outcomes and quality of life for patients who receive double sequential external defibrillation. Ethical considerations and societal impact. As with any powerful medical technology, there are ethical considerations surrounding double sequential external defibrillation. First, ensuring responsible use with the patient's best interests in mind. Second, balancing scientific progress with economic viability and ethical considerations. Third, addressing concerns about the technology becoming too advanced or potentially misused. These discussions need to involve not just medical professionals, but also ethicists, policymakers, and the public to ensure double sequential external defibrillation is used wisely and ethically. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.